Now I'm going to do some shadow color. And guess what? I mixed it with the exact same colors that I mixed the cloud shadow with, just a little bit different proportions. This is red, blue, and white. And I mixed it so I want it to be just barely darker than the sky so you can still see the edge of this mountain, but I need it to be lighter than the rocks. So you're going to see this when it dries as a darker shadow against this sky color because it dries darker. And I'll do the same kind of shapes, just kind of swooping, smile shapes. I'll do more on this side of the mountain than I did on the other side. This is the cool side of the mountain, see, because the sun's not shining on it, so we're going to have more snow there. And maybe in little areas, maybe in little areas I'll just put tiny bits of white, like a little rock or something that's sticking up, catching the light. Where it meets the white here, I'll do a soft, a soft blend in some areas so it looks like a, a smoother transition of it. Now watch how I'll take this shadow color and on the right edge of this valley, I'll put that blue shadow color so that it gives it dimension. Like, I think I got too much. See, it'll give it dimension. But I have to be careful that I don't make it darker than the surrounding rocks. Like that right there is probably too dark, so I'll, I'll bring in my light color again and lighten it up. I always have to be conscious about what I need my colors to be lighter than and what I need them to be darker than. And white snow is not going to be darker than the rocks that it's laying on. So I have to be careful that the shadow color is never darker than, uh, than the rocks of this mountain.